Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality, back here again after a long week with some more Minecraft. A little bit of a nice time to just sort of sit and watch the crops grow. Let's see if you guys can sort of notice a little bit anything different in uh, this little picture based on my previous episodes. Um, while we're sort of sitting here, um, if you're big into building, you know, take the time to just sort of sit and appreciate the, uh, the builds you create, whether large, small, complex, simple, uh, anything you create, whether in this game or others, um, you know, just take the time, smell the roses, appreciate your work. Stuff like that. That's been my message for the day. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah. Um, been busy off camera. Things have been sort of doing well. Um, we have a shield. So that's new. Oh, I didn't mean to move my coal. Please move my coal back. And let's... Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but yes, we have a shield. Uh, figure I might as well start using some of uh, some of the iron for uh, defense. But uh, two rows of berry bushes and two rows are more than enough to keep you sort of fully stocked, especially if you don't use it. So that's good. Um, we got another tree with another with that beehive that we created last episode. So both um, bee houses are in full production. Um, speaking of full production, uh, we have sort of been growing our garden, but we've got our final crop. Yep, them's melons. Uh, <laughs> we went into the mine shaft that is directly underneath our house, uh, and in one of the chests we found some melon seeds. So we have all the growable vegetables that uh, uh, all the main ones, at least. Um, I know there's stuff like uh, uh, cocoa beans. You can farm those as well, but we haven't gone to a jungle binome yet, so um, that will come in due time, I'm sure. Uh, but yes, ever since we started this garden way back in, what, episode two, episode three? Um, it's come to completion, and yeah, <laughs> with the bees nearby, um, nothing can really stop this now. So that's that. Um, we've actually got ourselves our nice little stables. Uh, so both ha horses still thingamajig without a saddle. Uh, we will find him one though. Um, but water troughs in both. Uh, they seem to get a little bit antsy. Uh, I was trying to do just a sort of simple design, so um, just sort of mixed up using stone bricks. Um, I was trying to use the stone brick walls in conjunction with the um, wooden ones, uh, but they don't connect. So the reason why I have the full blocks here is just to keep myself, but more importantly monsters, uh, from coming in here. So. <laughs> We needed to sort of um, fence it off easily like that. Uh, so, yep, we moved our two horses. They got lots of hay to graze on. They got their water troughs. And they got plenty of room to wander around without fear of me um, cramping their space anytime soon. So, that's good. Uh, and, of course, like everything else is sort of... Um, uh, been going pretty much uh, status quo. Uh, our portal, our chickens, our cows, everything. Uh, even our cat. We've sent our cat off to do some hunting whenever we go to sleep, but uh, still no phantom membranes, so um, eventually we'll get there. Uh, but that's not all, so let's take whatchamacallit. it. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that was just uh, me getting suffocated by the roof of my stables, <laughs> but uh, we're good now. All right, uh, so we were trying to do some work to the city that's off that away. So we made ourselves a little bit of a path, 
make it easier to travel between one and the other. Uh, and it's not that far, so um, even without the horse, it doesn't take us long to travel between our house and the village. Um, and I was trying to get everything sort of a little bit um, cleaner in the village. Um, I was smoothing out all the paths. I was trying to do some uh, terraforming. Uh, so we'll just leave old thingamajig there. Uh, so yeah, the village is a lot cleaner now because there were a couple of villagers that I thought, okay, well, let's start this video off. And the first thing I was gonna do was build a video, a village breeder, which was what I sort of earmarked this land for. But for some reason, all of my villagers minus one, I have one villager and he is the cleric here. So we'll see him sort of occupy this building and we can trade our rotten flesh. In fact, there he goes. Hello there, Mr. Cleric. Um, but yeah, he's the only villager left. I don't know where the others went to. It's not like I was uh, having a lot of uh, enemies roam the, uh, the lands here. I wasn't here at nighttime or at least not late enough for monsters to start attacking. Yeah, that's right, you go into your little house and hide. Uh, but there was a farmer, there was leather worker, there was an armorer, and for whatever reason, they're all gone. And I'm not very happy about that. So, um, while we're here, might as well just uh, wait out the night. Because we don't want any other unfortunates to happen. Um, maybe at some point off camera I'll have to get another villager here somehow. Um, maybe just by going down the river. Because uh, at least if I have two villagers we can actually get them into a breeder building and we don't have to worry about monsters getting at them. But for now, hello fox. Yeah, not much we can do. Hello. Goodbye. Until I know there's another villager. <laughs> I think we tamed another wolf and he's just sort of sitting here guarding the place. But yeah, that's a little disappointing. I, uh, I really wanted to sort of start things off with building that villager breeder, having the villagers in it, maybe spawning an iron golem because um, we still are going to do our second part of what we had intended for this video. Uh, and maybe we'll go over that now. Um, a little, a couple of foxes found their way into this enclosed area, so at least we got them. Um, but yeah, with only one villager, that's hard to make more, because you at least need two uh, with any decent breeding system. Uh, so yeah, um, <laughs> little bit of a bummer. Uh, it is fixable, um, it's just not fixable now. So we'll just, uh, we'll take our horse and we'll be on our way. Come on, jump! There we go. We're gonna head back home. Um, as you saw from, well, <laughs> not from that menu. Um, I took off all my armor. My armor was getting very low, so I figured I'd save it or combine it with some other low armor just so that uh, it didn't just go down all the way and break. Um, but we do have lots of iron, so it's not a matter of uh, not having the resources. So once we uh, park old thingamajig back at the stables, uh, we'll go in and we'll craft our no ourselves a new set. Because uh, we probably will need armor for what we're going to be doing next. Hello puppies, hello kitties. Yeah, so we got lots of iron. Not worried about that in the slightest. So we'll just go through. Uh, I think I made more 
feats than I needed to. No. Oh, I made much more feats. You know what? At least it'll save me from making them the next time. So we can just put them right into our armor section. There. Uh, and then... Make a bonk. Fully armored up, and it is at full durability. Right, kitty? Right. So, um, now that we have... Look at me like that with steak in my hand. How dare you? <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, now that we are fully armored, and we have lots of health, and we are sort of starting this episode, and there's not really anything more to show, let's venture off and see if we can find some stuff to do. I was gonna... <laughs> I was sitting there going, ooh, beef! You know what? We're gonna spare the cows for now. Um, we're gonna hit that Illager Tower and we're gonna see if uh, they... First off, we're gonna see if there's anybody occupying it. There should. They usually... Um, they're usually... Um, spawned they're they're manning the tower even if you kill them off eventually more illagers will appear yes guys you get spared too but yeah we're gonna go see the illager tower we're gonna see if anyone's there even if anyone's not there uh, we'll see if they have anything in their chest Hey, maybe they'll have a saddle. Uh, and then if we do get some illagers, maybe we'll get um, hit with the Bad Omen debuff. And then we can play with some raids. So the illager tower was over here somewhat. Yep, there it is, off in the distance. It's too bad we don't have the next update yet, uh, the Caves and Cliffs update, because there will be a recipe to make a spyglass and it would come in very handy right now. Uh, and why didn't I see this big hole before? Ooh, scary. Do not want to fall in the big hole. Um, oh, more bees, cool. At least I hope there's more bees in there. All right. Let's see if we can uh, take some pot shots. Can't tell if there's anyone in there yet. So let's cross the river. Because we're not getting a good vantage point between those uh, on those trees there. Oh, yep, there's there's some guys in there. Villagers come out and play. Eh? Grass. There's a doggy 
want. The guy who has the banner is sort of like the leader, and he'll be the one that applies the debuff once we kill him. in their numbers, soon you would think that they would be getting wise to me, taking car shots at them from range, but you know what? Come on. <laughs> you guys can't be that stupid. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well, we, we got what we want. We got the Bad Omen debuff. Uh, and that should stick for several minutes until we either don't die, and please don't die, um, and we get ourselves to uh, one of the villages. Alright. Please tell me that is all of them. Almost seems like it is. You know what? I should have brought a bed. But, uh, you know what? That's uh, just a little house. Alright. As long as we have our health up, let's enter the structure. Oh! There's another one in there! Would you, would you guys just go away? More of them? Darn! And now we have night to contend with! Come on! Well, it's a good thing we got armor. <laughs> guys done being dumb? Because uh, I really want to check out what's in this villager tower before we head to the next step. Oh, and we don't want creepers. Uh, let's see if we can punch ourselves an entrance here. Wow. Yeah, 
another one. Go away. You stupid heads. That's right. We're going to light up your tower, whether you like it or not. Keep it on heading up because there will be there, there should be a chest at the top which there is and let's see what we can have here absolutely nothing but you know what they're not gonna have it either oh all right <laughs> Now the thing is that we need to get back to our home without going through that other village. And I think it was... I can't remember which way it was. I think it was this way we came in. So it means we need to go over that way. All right. So let's get our bow. Because we know. We know that spiders are. Dumb. Die. Really? Ow, 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 ow. We're just gonna, we're just gonna run. Running's good too. Increases your heart rate. Makes you, I don't know, more fit. And who wouldn't want to be fit in the mind of, in the world of Minecraft? Uh, all right, let's head on out. I think this river will just sort of join with. Uh, our sort of home area. Uh, we got some drowned under there. Anyone? I'm not too too worried about the drowned unless they're having tridents. At which point we probably would want to fight them. Uh, but for now, let's see if we can just get home. This home would be good. Oh, who did that? Why did you do that? And don't do that. Okay. Where are we? Where are we? What is that? Oh, it's natural lava. Great. You know what? I'm now just realizing I left my compass at home and probably would have benefited from having the compass. Ugh, all right, well, it can't be that hard. Because after all, if, uh, if nothing else, then we'll just follow the river back. But it should, air quotes, be this way, I think. Although it almost seems like we're hitting another binome. Oh, skeleton, can you tell me where to go? Oh, there's a witch. Witches are very dangerous. Uh, <laughs> bum rushing them like that is usually not the best choice, but uh, I needed to make sure they died before they had started um, uh, throwing potions of poison at me or or something to that effect. Their potions are not uh, stuff to take lightly, that's for sure. Uh, all right, well, I'm almost at the point where I can say I'm officially lost. Okay. 
I think that's the village that we passed through in order to get to the Illager Tower. Which is, which is fine. At least it, it sort of gives us a bearing. We don't want to go there because that's the village I don't want to uh, come under attack. Uh, considering that the moon is also setting, oh, we are in a good position. So home should be this way. Uh, and we found uh, we found another big lava source. Uh, I was trying to find a big lava source for close by to my home. Uh, just because buckets of lava are quite useful, especially when you're smelting a bunch of stuff quickly. Um, and usually, well, at least in this world, I've been only been able to get uh, buckets of lava when going deep underground. Stop shooting at me! Guys, just bugger off! Ugh. <laughs> oh. Are we done yet? All right. Sun is rising. It's a new day. And we're almost home. And we didn't die. So, that all being said, let's just quickly go home drop some of our stuff and do what this bad omen is meant to do. Some of the stuff we have is food. Let's head on down here. I think carrots is already, yep, carrots is, you know what, let's put the wheat down there too. Uh, seeds go down here. And I think the rest go in our main house. and gunpowder. Uh, here we can put our dark oak logs. Uh, you know what, let's put that wood in there because it's extra. Um, chest. flesh. Uh, we could have put our glass bottle in the food area because I have a bunch of glass bottles for honey, but for now uh, we got bows and stuff. So bow, crossbow, crossbow, and another bow. You know what? Let's cut our arrow stock in half. We'll be stockpiling arrows like nobody's business now, uh, considering that uh, we now have infinite. Uh, and for now, we'll just put the extras in here. So I think that should do it. All right. So we're not gonna take our horse. They're much safer here out of the way, but let's head over to that village once more and really get the party started. Alright, we're just outside of our village and the reason I did want to select this one is because I did spend a good decent amount of time cleaning it up. Uh, there's no rogue holes, uh, all the illager or the raiders should come in and be above ground and no one will sort of get stuck anywhere, or at least that I know of. So, if you have a bad omen and you start entering a village, You get a raid bar. <sighs> Hide!
You lone villager, you! Alright. I wonder if I should have my dog active, too. You know what? Let's get the dog active. I should have brought another one, to be honest. And you know what? They may not survive the fray, but... There's more dogs, right? So let's see, are they coming from this way? You gotta find out because they'll come from a random direction. Ah, yes. to get their stuff before and their experience. Hi, doggy. Okay, ready for the next one? And there will be a little bit, uh, there will be multiple waves. Uh, it's the first time I'm actually doing a raid on normal difficulty. Easy is not so bad. But let's see where they're coming from this time. Wow. Heard you the first time. Lay off. Yes, yeah, sheep. Oh, same area. All right, well. I think I see you guys over there. Yep. Still playing in the water. that we're not losing hearts. I see you. You can't hide from me. Okay, doggy. Actually, come here, doggy. We want to make sure that you are full of health. And let's just make sure they're not coming from the same way again. Oh, they are.
brought themselves a ravager. That is stuck in the water. Ha 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 Yeah, that's usually my plan when I see ravagers in the water. They just hit them from a distance. They can't really do much being slow like that. Uh, okay. What? What? Don't hurt me! <laughs> Good doggy. Oh, and another saddle! Yay! We finally got our next saddle and another uh, enchantment book. All right. So let's find this last illager and get rid of him. Right, doggy. Please don't tell me you're still playing in the water. Well, it's nighttime, and if you're dealing with raids in the nighttime, you can always still sleep it off until the next morning, because the raid will still be there when you get up. Let's find this last Illin Illager. Uh, he, has, he has an appointment with the other side of my bow. Hi. Ooh. I'll save you, doggy. Yet another wave. So this will be wave four. I don't know how many waves there will be. Perhaps five. Oh, there they are. They got witches on them. So let's hope that we can get rid of uh oh we're getting close ow i think they got me with slow and now they got me with poison oh this is bad this is bad this is bad oh poison will take me down to half a heart and as long as nothing else hits me, I should be fine. Oh. Alright. <laughs> okay. Alright, one's down. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> you got in my way! <laughs> What am I to do? Oh. Sorry guys, that, that didn't count. <laughs> the dog sacrificed his life for me in order for me to defeat the wishes. Witches. Wishes. The wishes that witch. Or the witches that wish. You be the judge. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get this cleaned up now. Because, uh, yeah, that was... Uh, That was unfortunate to be had, but like I mean, he was a good doggy. He was protecting me up to the very end. Well, that pool's not gonna save you. All right, two more mobs. Where are they and what are they? Wow. Uh -huh. 
I hear ya. Oof. And still yet another wave. Uh, but this should be wave five. Oof, and without the wolf to back me up, uh, it's hopefully going to get too busy. Oh, wow. Oh, right there. Um, okay. Fence post. Again. Ravagers, ravagers aren't that big of a deal. Riders or not, once they hit water. Since he will be the biggest threat in this wave. care of him. Two mobs remaining. <laughs> Another Ravager. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa! He's breaking down trees! Out of the way, chicken! saddle. Just in case we find yet another horse. Alright. One mob left. Where or oh, where can he be? Oh. He could be right there. Trapped. Like a moron. And that should just about do it. Yep. <laughs> Can I get the... Oh, you know what? Oh, apparently we can't get the stuff. Oh, do -do, okay. Oh, don't. I let the foxes out. All right, let's go visit my one villager 
who can now shower me with praise and such because I've... Or he can just ignore me. Uh, all right, well, job of a hero is never done. Or so it seems. Uh, what do we got? Uh, depth Strider 2, not bad if you want to do some uh, depth stuff. Projectile project, uh, protection. Um, so... Right, we're going to keep the Totem of Undying on. Because I think I still have the achievement, or still need to unlock the achievement for um, having one of these. Uh, you what? Know what? Let's... In commemoration for our doggy. Plant flowers. Uh, and we did pick up some seeds, so I might as well plant them. We don't want our one villager to starve now, do we? All right. So that was what a raid was like. And let's just head back home. Uh, on second thought, let's spend the night here and then go on our way home. So we'll return after these messages. Um, it's night time. Let me sleep. Okay, there's just a little bit of daylight left. Can I go? There we go, finally. <laughs> All right, so we're back home with our bounty aplenty from that uh, Illager raid. Um, didn't actually take a good look before, but 22 emeralds, not too bad. Uh, and like I said, a couple of saddles, so let's get one of them underway because we are long overdue for thingamajig to be a full and complete horse that we can uh, ride off into the sunset with. So there you are, buddy. One of the family. Uh, we'll keep the other saddle. Uh, it could be useful for riding some other things um, that we may get to later on in the adventure. But for now, um, I think we'll call it. Uh, that was a good sort of um, time spent uh, fighting a lot of mobs, uh, which I wasn't actually really expecting. So quite the well-rounded battling episode that it was. Uh, and we got to try out our Botastic quite a bit. Um, quite a powerful little thing. Uh, I'm sure we can uh, get some more um, enchantments on it, but for now, I think we'll uh, have it as is. And maybe we'll make up a backup bow, just in case. Because uh, you can never have too many infinite bows. Uh, as for next episodes, not really sure what we'll do. Um, maybe we'll actually build our nether base just so that uh, we don't have to worry about uh, changing over if uh, it comes to that. Uh, also a lot of uh, overworld to explore. We still a lot of binomes left undiscovered uh, and we got to do some recon down in the nether. Uh, we have to get that nether fortress uh, discovered so that we can start getting some of the materials we need to start uh, edging ourselves ever closer to the end. But for now, we'll call it here for this week's episode in the Minecraft world. If you enjoyed the video, drop me a like, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel, as I'll be playing more Minecraft in the near future, possibly sooner than you think. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye now.